Wolfsburg are one of the most successful teams in women's football. Their current squad has players from four countries who will be competing in the Euros this summer. But how do they make it to the very top of their game? These are the people, places and the moments that made them who they are today. I grew up in a really small town and uh, my friends, uh, they were not really into football so I went to training alone most of the times but of course I got some friends there but we were really few uh, training in my hometown so we lost probably every game <laughs> growing, growing up so it was pretty hard but also fun. I always played with the boys and then one corner he was like um, yeah, uh, you should better go to the kitchen and not being here on the pitch. And like, I didn't say anything back because I was like, ah, just quit it. And then I showed it like on the pitch, like I went into the duels a little bit harder. No, I've never really experienced it that way. Uh, I grew up in a football family. My dad used to play uh, on a professional level. I grew up um, yeah, always playing with boys in a boys team as well. And I actually really enjoyed it and I think it's a big part of, um, yeah, of my career, um, growing up playing in a boys' team. The boys just really liked when we played and they just encouraged me to, to keep playing and wanted me to join and, and stuff, so I have a very good experience from that. When you don't think fast, when you're playing with the boys, you get the hit. Then they are there and hit you, so I had to learn like making fast decisions and read the, read the game very well. Who inspired you to play football? Uh, I would say my big brother. Uh, we always played in the garden, I always watched his games. My first game was when uh, his team was missing a player and they put me in the middle and I just stood there and I was so angry. In my younger age it was Margaret Laura Vedasdottir. Uh, she's a striker from Iceland, she's just an uh, amazing player and an uh, amazing role model. So I have really good ones. So who's had the biggest influence on your career? My dad. Definitely. Your dad? Yeah. Has he given you a lot of advice, talked you Still. through? Still? Every day. No, yeah. Um, but I like it as well that way. I think he's very uh, very honest, very realistic. He was like that when I was five already. So how was that? Hard sometimes because, uh, I mean, you're a kid, you're just playing and it's not fun. If he tells me after the game that wasn't good enough or uh, you need to be better. But uh, I think that's what made me uh, better and better as well. Your brother, Tim, who's five years older than you, plays football, yeah. plays at Fortuna Dusseldorf. You learnt a lot from him as well, right? Yeah, I can learn a lot from him, especially when we play the same position in the national team centre-back, he plays centre-back. So it's uh, just nice to know and when I have like questions about like a specific situation, I can come to him, like call him, I was like, Tim, like, what can I have done differently because I don't know how to solve this, this uh, situation. I think we both know that we're proud of each other and I think this is the main part to know. In 2019, you had some bad news regarding your health, uh, ovarian cancer. Has that changed the way you look at life, um, the way you approach football, or in just in your life in general? I think we've, and I've always tried to be, like appreciating life and appreciating what's important for me. So in that way, I feel like I, I am I'm still very happy for being here, of course, it's more easier to put it in perspective now, but, um, and of course with football, I know I thought at the time, I'm never going to be angry if I miss a chance or if we lose a game, you know, I thought it didn't mean anything. And when I was healthy again and I played, I was angry when we lost. So <laughs> I think it, it puts it in perspective, but it also makes you realize, or at least for me, that this is what I really want to do, because if that's not what I would have wanted to do, I would have not kept playing. But this is what makes me happy and uh, yeah. What would you say to any young girl who wants to become a professional footballer? <laughs> Just enjoy, have fun, because I think you can train as hard as you want, but when you don't have fun, you don't enjoy it being with your friends on the pitch, then you won't have this like 100% commitment to the football. If you really love it, enjoy it and have fun with it, then like you can achieve everything. Is it the best job in the world? Yeah, for me, yes. How excited are you to go and play in England at the European Championships for, for your country? Uh, so excited. It's going to be my first uh, big tournament, so I'm really excited for it. And we, uh, our goals are set really high, so we know what we want to do. Women's football is getting bigger and bigger, so I feel like every tournament is getting bit, bigger as well. And the pressure is maybe higher, but... Um, what I know from our team, we need pressure. We, we, we like the pressure. 
Do you feel like you're able to show a path for a lot of young girls? Yeah, I think so. Also because I'm mixed, so uh, I'm not 100% uh, Icelandic, I'm 50-50. So I think there are many girls like me that uh, have seen I've done these things. Uh, I've played for the national team and I'm in Wolfsburg. I think they, uh, uh, I can be a role model for them. If a, a young you looked at you now and saw where you are now playing for Wolfsburg, what do you think she would say? This has been a dream since I was a kid and then it's a dream and you don't really think it's going to happen. And then when I got this opportunity and when I've been able to play for Sweden and got those chances, I would say just uh, look forward and if, if you work hard and, and you, you get chances, you, you, will, you will be there one day, I think I would say. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.